everybody. Jason here again. Back for another movie review. I'm going to continue on with the Stephen King uh, series. And this time, one of my favorites by Stephen King. The book as well. I love the book. Misery. Misery is outstanding. The book is outstanding. Um, I'll just start off by telling you the... I think there's there's three actors that I and actresses that I will discuss. Um, first is James Caan. He plays Paul Sheldon, who is a author, and he is writing his latest book. And he always goes to um, a place in Colorado. He's from New York City. And he always goes to Colorado to finish up his book, write it in there at, at a lodge. So what happens next is he's driving off after he finishes it. And it's snowing out real bad. And he crashes. Goes over an embankment, crashes, snow falls on there. And he's flashing back a little bit in his mind about when he had talked to his editor and then you flash forward again to the present where he is uh, pretty much he's, he's close to being dead bloody everywhere and then you see a body pull him out give him out the mouth you don't know who it is at this time but then you wake then you notice that he wakes up you hear the one thing that I started when I first watched it I knew that this person was out of their mind saying I'm your number one fan that is the Kathy Bates um, character as um, Annie Wilkes and Annie Wilkes is an old nurse she's a she was a nurse who apparently went to jail um, for killing some kids or some babies or something into that aspect um, but I'll tell you what, after watching this movie and seeing Kathy Bates do her thing in here, anytime I'll, I'll read the book or I'll just glance at the book again, that's who I'm imagining is Kathy Bates. If I had to pick one movie you need to watch that is of Kathy Bates, you need to watch this one because she is outstanding. She is scary. She plays it perfect. I mean perfect. It's it's hard for me to even describe exactly. You just need to watch it. And she is really scary. Um, outstanding work. And uh, James Caan as well. He did an outstanding job as Paul Sheldon. Um, very believable. Um, they're both very believable. And um, the third... Uh, person I want to discuss real quick is Richard Farnsworth. Um, he is the uh, the town sheriff, you know, town sheriff of, of two people, I believe. Him and his wife. It's, it's hilarious between those two. Um, but he, uh, Richard Farnsworth, or Buster, I think, yeah, Buster, um, he gets a phone call from uh, Paul Sheldon's um, uh, person that's you know that's going to help publish his book. And they haven't heard from him. They haven't seen him for for a couple days, and uh, he realizes that you know um, he needs to. He, he he thinks that he's up. Paul is probably up here somewhere dead. And his wife is like, no, you're crazy. So he ends up getting some more information and uh, by getting as many misery books, which is the series of books that Paul Sheldon had has wrote. Um, that was his bread and butter. And he had, had uh, he was, that's what Paul Sheldon was doing. He was killing off the character of misery. And that's how... Richard Farnsworth, or Buster, had got his information was from those books. Um, so basically, if you flash back, Paul Sheldon is being treated by Annie Wilkes at her house in the middle of nowhere, 
where the roads are covered in ice, snow, and she promises that when the roads are clear and the phones are back up, that she's going to call his daughter for and the publicist for him. So he feeds her, and she seems real nice at first. I mean, and then I forget exactly what happened, but she went crazy. And she's trying to, if I'm not mistaken, I think the very first time that he noticed that she, there was something wrong with her was when she's feeding him tomato soup or something like that. And she is spilling everywhere. And then she gets very upset and does every, all this stuff. And then in her head, she stops and she realizes, oh no, uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Because up until this point, um, she's been nice to him. Um... I won't go into too much detail. Basically, what happens is um, he's she finds out that you know misery has been killed off, and uh, he does that by you know he has that book in his little case that he does, and she reads it for him. And she really, I mean, when she reads it, she goes in there, she, it's, it's freaky. I mean, she goes in there and, you know, says, misery cannot be dead, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's I mean, it's fabulous. I mean, it's, it's outstanding. Um, every time I watch it, this movie, it's like I'm watching it for the first time because I still get kind of freaked out in certain scenes and just notice how crazy Kathy Bates is. I shouldn't say Kathy Bates, but <laughs> Annie Wilkes. Um... Let's see, what else? Um, so basically what happens after she noticed that, she ends up going to buy a typewriter and some paper. And she is going to make him write a story. She's going she's gonna to make him bring misery back from the dead. Um, it's an old typewriter. I think the letter N or something like that is not working, so... You know, after each chapter, she's going to end up reading the uh, his story and then filling in the ends for him. Um, so at first, it's, everything seems fine. Everything is perfect. You know, she reads it. You know, um, if I'm not, wait a minute, if I'm not mistaken, she might have not liked it at first. But and I can't remember exactly. But she does like the fact that he ends up <laughs> naming the uh, graveyard digger as uh, after after her. Um, so uh, he ends up writing it and you go through this montage of him throughout probably the winter and so that's what happens you end up finding out that oh I'm sorry uh, Buster the sheriff ends up finding out that um, Paul Sheldon's car was found and then he's presumed dead, and they think he's actually buried in the snow somewhere. So the only way they're going to be able to find him is when the snow thaws. Well, he ends up going over to uh, searching the whole town. It's a small town. So he and the buster ends up going to Annie Wilkes' place to get some information, kind of talk to her, and... He's kind of doing his investigating because at this point he had seen a clip in the newspaper that was, it's it was a quote by Annie Wilkes when she's going to jail and it matched the uh, part of one of the misery books that he read. And he tied those two together, very, you know, he's very smart like that. And long story short, I mean, it's not a long story, but I mean... Uh, he sees Paul Sheldon down in the basement because Paul Sheldon's been drugged and put into the basement and then she shoots him and it's pretty gruesome. There's some gruesome scenes in here so you gotta watch out. I mean, one of them is that scene and the other one is Paul Sheldon get his ankles crushed by a huge sledgehammer um, when he hits them. It's it's very gruesome. Um, especially on this Blu-ray. I'll tell you that right now. This Blu-ray has great... Uh, it's outstanding... Um, it's an outstanding look for it. It's the best it's ever seen. It, you've ever seen it, and it's pretty gruesome, honestly. Um, so he, she kills Buster, and it's and 
at this point, Paul Sheldon thinks he's dead. Um, and we'll get to the base of the ending of it. Um, basically, there's a huge struggle, and there's a lot more to it than this. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit, and he ends up killing her. And he's rescued. We don't see the rescue, but you see it a year later, if I'm not mistaken. And he's written a book. He's having a lunch. He's having lunch with somebody, and oh, the book actually is about him experiences with Annie Wilkes, and uh, so what happens is he's at their lunch, and you know he's she's still on his mind still because you know the waitress comes out with the birthday cake or something on the cart, and he. F sees her um and he wilks and then he kind of flashes and it's not her it's the waitress and then she uh asks for an autograph of his because um because she said that he she's his number one fan so we kind of end it right there um outstanding first of all you, you definitely need to watch this i'm definitely going to give this 10 out of 10 must watch um, not just for Stephen King if you're a uh, fan of thriller movies uh, suspenseful movies a little bit of drama um, you definitely need to watch this great acting in it um, very believable um, and like I said this blu-ray right here lo will look great into in your collection because it's uh, the uh, high definition is outstanding um, you get this one right here, you open it, you got the Blu-ray, and you also have a DVD version. So like me, if I go to sleep in my bedroom, which I only have a DVD player, I can watch it. I don't need to pull out another DVD. So it's great that they did that. So basically, um, disc one is the full-length feature, and that's basically it. But the, this two has all the special features, and I won't even go into all of them because there, there is a bunch of them, but... Uh, you do have that. Um, the director is Rob Reiner, so if you've seen my uh, review of Stand By Me, you know it's the same director, so I do believe he is a uh, Stephen King fan. Um, he does a great job, by the way. Um, you do have an audio commentary with him. Um, and again, there's a lot more feature ads and stuff like that. So uh, again, 10 out of 10. I do highly recommend this. You need to have this in your collection, especially if you're a Stephen King fan. This is one of the uh, the better Stephen King um, movies that's out there. So thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you next time on the next review. Thank you very much. Have a great day.